pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth on Instagram and Reddit. And today I am unboxing my very first Cult Pens order. Cult Pens is a fantastic shop out of the UK, and they have an incredible selection of inks, pens, papers, like really all of your stationery needs. And I've always wanted to order from them, but I guess I'd always thought that their shipping was going to be kind of crazy high and that any savings I might find with their really excellent prices would if it essentially be offset by the cost of shipping. But um, I discovered that international shipping to the US is actually only $10. So I took advantage. Plus they were having their uh, summer sale. So I got some really, really great prices on items that I'd been wanting and it just arrived. It actually only took about a week, which is pretty crazy. Uh, again, I have been purchasing things from East Asia for literally decades at this point and shipping from a lot of the companies that I've purchased from takes much longer. So I just was really surprised to find this on my doorstep. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and hopefully just kind of go through the things that I picked up and maybe something might catch your eye. Um, not going to show off the invoice, of course, but they give you a super cute little clip. I was not expecting that. Oh, it has a smiley face on it. How cute is that? Definitely keeping that. And here it all is. This I had been wanting for so long and I just kept putting it off. And I will do an unboxing for this in just a little bit. Here are some of the things I'm super excited about. Okay, so this is the Rohr and Klinger um, Alt Bordeaux. And apologies if my German is way messed up. I am not always very, very good with pronunciations, and I apologize for that. Um, and another Rohr and Klinger. This one is the Alt Goldgrün. Um, it's this really interesting sort of gold green, and I just thought it was super cool, and I don't have any inks that are quite like this. I do have a lot of olive inks, but something about this is just different, and I was really excited to add it to my collection. If you've never used Pinoni inks, you really should try them. They're just beautiful. They are made in Hungary and they come in these 60 milliliter bottles, at least the ones that I have in my collection already are, and they're gorgeous colors, like just rich and intense. This one is um, Roja Coma. Um, I'm probably butchering it. I apologize. Uh, but it's this really beautiful orange red. Uh, something about foxes, I think, is the translation. Is there a translation somewhere so that I don't have to butcher the language and feel bad about it? No, sadly. Uh, but it is absolutely beautiful. And there's this one. And you can see it's this pretty kind of muted lavender. And this one is called... I think it's a lilac something or other. Oh, Tehani Lila. Again, sorry, <laughs> but I'm I love this sort of muted, uh, purpley tone. The are some of my favorite colors in all of my inks, and I was very very excited for this one. Um, it's been out of stock at the shop that I usually buy inks from, so very excited to have it. And then this one is just this really beautiful green. I think the English translation of it is metal green. But it's just, it's just gorgeous. And I don't actually have, I have a lot of muted greens, sea foamy kind of greens, teals, and I don't have any like bright, vibrant ones. And I thought this one, Cislan, who knows, 
Um, but I'm very excited to try this. I did pick up a couple of um, dye line inks. This one is the uh, Reddit Celadon Cat. It's a really beautiful um, shading kind of teal-ish green and um, I think I've heard, seen a lot of people compare it to some of the Vinta inks uh, that are out there like Serena. So I love Serena so I'm hoping that this one will be in that similar family but just maybe a little bit darker. Uh, but yes very excited to try that. And my other one of my other diamines. This one is Bashful Blueberry and it's in a shade of blue that I don't have any of. I have like a lot of rich, deep blues, teals, um, turquoises, but nothing this particular color. And I know I'll have to swatch this and I'll definitely um, highlight this later on. Um, what I do like their shimmering line. I have quite a few and um, I love them all. They work really, really well in pretty much all of my pens. And I decided to get the Frosted Orchid. Um, I was told they were out of Caramel Sparkle, which I'd really wanted to pick up, but this one was my second uh, choice and very excited to have this one. And just, these, just these cute little bottles. And that's 50 milliliters, I'm going to say. And this is one that I got in a sample from a couple years ago. And I fell in love with this color and I just never, I just never managed to pick up an actual bottle of it. One, I love these bottles. I think they're so cute. Uh, but this is Brandy Snap. It's a really beautiful, uh, bright, uh, sort of caramelly color. One of my favorite colors of inks. And in general, I love that family of, of browns. And I'm very excited to use this one, especially coming into like the fall and winter season. Okay, so this was my big purchase from this particular order. It is a pelican. I have zero pelicans. This is my very first one. I've been wanting one, this particular version, for a really long time now. And I saw it, and with the sale price and everything else, it just was sort of, it seemed like the perfect time to get it. Uh, and so it's finally here. This is not, this is just going to be an unboxing. I'm not going to do um, my usual more in-depth uh, review until a little bit later so I have a chance to kind of play with it but I did want to let you guys see what it is and hopefully you'll be as excited about it as I am so here we go okay is it always this hard to open these or am I meant to open it on this side wow <laughs> Okay, that was embarrassingly simple after I figured it out. Sorry about that. And then the little hole is clearly to push it out. Oh, be smarter than the box. Be smarter than the box. This is really lovely, though. So the sides... lovely little leatherette pouch and there's like a soft kind of like polyester fleece thing inside but it's a nice little can, little pouch I think um, and I do having experienced what it's like sometimes getting um, the pens in the more loose say like Japanese or Taiwanese cases uh, where it can come loose inside the packaging from whatever is connecting it to the box I like that it's already in a pouch uh, so it can prevent a lot of the scratches that sometimes happen. Big fan of that. Oh, this is nice. We wish you a lot of writing pleasure with your fine writing instrument. Yours, Pelican Team. And of course, above it is in German. And sort of a little pamphlet that you usually will get with pretty much any pen. Oh, lots of language. 
pages. Oh, I do like this that has the little breakdown of the uh, nib widths. I am very curious as to what this one's going to write like. Uh, so again, I'll be posting a review in a few weeks after I've had a chance to play with it. But okay, here we go. I'm seeing it as the first time that you guys are. I'm telling you right now the size is perfect I was actually nervous that it was going to be bigger than this um I know I'd heard a lot of people talk about all of the pelican pens and that I knew in my head that this particular model was not huge but I'm still a little bit anxious uh but no this is the perfect size okay so this is the uh, White Tortoise Pelican M400. Uh, it is beautiful. Let me see if I can get this. There's the little bill clip. And the finial has that. Ooh, please focus. Focus? Are you focusing? Kinda? Kinda? A little bit? But it has that Pelican, the classic right on top of the finial. This is so beautiful. I, I honestly, I didn't, I've watched so many reviews or at least as many as I could, um, of this, but I've never actually gotten to hold one. And so I was a little bit hesitant, but I am, I am very pleased so far and look at how beautiful this is. So I really love inks in sort of like greens and browns, um, as well as like my other like my purple is one of my favorite categories but I also really like these earth tones and I just think this pen is going to be so much fun to write with so you can see the band they say pelican and the light is making it so I can't read anything else so hold on Oh, Pelican Silver on Germany. <laughs> I don't know why I sounded ridiculous when I was trying to read that, but trust me, it's hard to read with the lighting that's in here because I'm trying to do it with all natural light and it's kind of reflecting everywhere. And I'm also trying to do it quickly before work. Um, but yeah, oh, okay. So let's untwist. And here is that nib it really is okay Anytime. there we go i was like please please focus kind of but look at how beautiful that is look at all of like the detail like the filigree on it the little pelican and it's like that bi coloring it's a 14 karat gold nib um and i got this in the medium so i was very hesitant again as someone who's never gotten to write with the m400 before I know some people have had the experience with where the uh, M400 is incredibly broad or it just looks like a normal Western um, medium or just a little bit broader. I, there, it, just, it does seem like I've seen people with a great deal of variation in the nib. I don't know if that's indicative of this particular line, the brand itself or what, but I wanted to take a chance because I am really trying to expand my comfort with different size nibs and I'm quite comfortable with um, stubs and uh, italics at this point. I'm really, really starting to absolutely love them. Uh, but weirdly enough, mediums and broads, I just, I don't, I don't work with a lot and I really want to. So I think with a pen, I really love the look of, I might be more prone to using it. So fingers crossed, <laughs> but I am very excited for it. It is quite light, uh, which is not a bad thing. Let me post it so that I can even posted. I will say posted. It feels very comfortable in my hand. Like I was a little bit not put off, but surprised by exactly how it was feeling without 
being posted for a moment there. It was like, was this a horrible mistake? It is not. It, it, it is now at a place where I really like it. And I'm a pen poster. I actually have not purchased pens specifically because they won't post. Uh, so, you know, that's definitely a thing for me. And this one is meant to be posted, I believe. Um, it feels a little bit like a pro gear slim in my hand, like weight wise, I'll have to look up the stats and everything later, but we'll put all of that in the full review that I do in a bit, but just so you can see it in all its beauty. There we go. Um, it is a piston fill, I know. So I'm very excited about the fact that um, I have another piston filler. I do really like them. I mean, I don't have a huge selection of piston fill nibs or fit piston fill pens. Um, I, a number of Twisbees, of course, but I also have like um, the Pilot 823 and um, my Lamy 2000. And I really love them. I do. I, I, I really, really just enjoy writing with them. And once I find an ink that really sort of sings in a particular pen, that's when I'm just sort of like thrilled. So I have a couple in mind to try with this one. We'll have to see how it turns out. But yeah, so that was my very first Cult Pens unboxing. Smooth transaction, uh, really quite fast shipping, really reasonable prices and costs as far as um, items and um, transit go. So I will definitely be shopping with them again. If you are still watching with me, thank you so much. I love doing these videos and um, love being able to chat with you. If anything about this particular unboxing was helpful, interesting, useful, please do consider hitting that like button or maybe even the subscription. Uh, with that, I'm going to close things out again. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.